sure. Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, not a magician. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, hello there. Let's go for your next challenge. What is it? My challenge. My Mr. Enabler, my problem is um, I want to be able to, well, no, there's a big, ugly workflow, a classic workflow, as we call them now, mm -hmm. um, which does a lot of stuff, and I need to call it. But I need to call it from a flow, as in a power automated cloud flow. I should probably rebuild the whole ugly workflow, but it's a bit too scary to unpick and it works. And we're being risk averse. So I would like to call that flow workflow from the power automate flow, please. So I suppose, well, the one of the key things is not broken, don't fix it, right? Exactly. It works beautifully. Brilliant. Uh, but it's complex. It's scary. It's written by someone else who retired by now. Mm -hmm. You just want to drag it into a new world, but leave it as is, and then pick the bits later when, as the time and budget allows. Perfect. Let's start with a solution. And we'll call it, uh, you called it a beast. So we'll call it uh, yes. beauty and the beast. Yeah. Yeah, good story, good plot line. You'll never guess what happens. Okay, so we'll get our solution. So let's kind of simulate your classic workflow. So the first question is, what, was it uh, synchronous or asynchronous? I believe it's synchronous. So how is it triggered? Um, so it's set up at the minute. It can be run as a child flow. It can be run as on demand or by various triggers. Hence, don't want to touch it. Okay, let's create something. Uh, Ah, oh, that's interesting. How do we even create one? You're not allowed. It's coming up. Waiting. You see, it's waiting, waiting, waiting. But there is this trick where you just I hit like and one. refresh. It's a brilliant trick, right? So if you see it stuck, stop, refresh, and boom. Let's go and do the, the, the process. Four to six days later. So we can run it as on demand as a child. We kept away various triggers. We're saying, yeah, we'll trigger it as needed. We're running it on account workflow. And what we do there, just to show that it's all working, we update notes and saying, hey, look, Amy and George been here at that timestamp. Perfect. Easy. Easy. So now we're saying this is black box. We don't want to touch it. We we just want to call it from Power Automate Cloudflow. Yes. You probably heard the scary words custom action. Custom yeah. action, and then we call it beauty, right? We call her beauty. Beauty would call the beast. Beauty would call the beast. So beauty is an action. Action, in fact, it looks just like a workflow, a classic workflow, except it's got this custom unique name, which is custom message. Mm -hmm. Right, It kind of extends CRM or Dataverse to the outside world a little bit. And we say an entity's account and it's an action. Uh, we don't pass any parameters. There will be one parameter because we are creating so-called bound action. So it's bound to the account. So there will always be, will be a yeah. target, an account to deal with. And all we do here is call the beast, right? So he's the beast. And we just added one step. Start child workflow beast. Because it's a child workflow, the workflow is synchronous. Everything that happens synchronously. Actions are actually always synchronous. Mm -hmm. So when you're creating a new one, all you need to select is action. Got it. And it will appear there. You do it within the solution. It will appear with the prefix. So this enabler is my solution prefix. Yours one will be whatever it is. And then you give it a name and it just shows that. And you say, how do I call this action? Well, it's for developers to call or for someone who can, like Cloudflow, right? Mm -hmm. So you put the black box inside of beauty and beauty is a wrapper? Around the beast, yes. Hmm. That's funny. 
here's my solution. So I've got uh, black box beast beauty. And now we create a new cloud flow. Cloud flow. And we'll do a manual one. Yeah. We need a name. Beauty's dad. Maurice. Maurice. So we manually trigger a flow. And then what we do, we, we go for command that service and then perform a bound action. Ooh. And then we say, I want accounts, right? Uh huh. And loading, 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 loading. Guess what shows up? Oh, uh, hello there. Hello, beauty. What a beauty. And all we need to do is to pass an account ID. Here's another trick for you. You can delete triggers. You can. It's good. And what we need to do is to look for common data service. It's been renamed, doesn't it? Not here, not yet. The other one, not the current environment, the other one. When row is selected, that's what we want. Okay, just because it's easier to trigger. That's because we we will have an account when yeah. we trigger. So we trigger on account when the record is selected. Yeah, but this action could be performed after something that isn't when the record's selected. As long as you have an account ID. Got it. So I just pass account, manually select, pass account. Body, you'd use it to pass the parameters. You don't use it here because we don't pass any. It's a little bit complicated and you serialize, deserialize, it's JSON. Yuck. Look, most of the time it's not required. You can pass the bucket to beauty and say, hey, beauty, deal with the beast and so on. I like it. We, we pretty much done. We have beast and we have Maurice and beauty is in the middle, just like in real story. It's a true story. So we're ready to go. Do I have an app? That's the question. 72 hours later. Okay, so now we're going into the account. So we've got nothing in description. We can run old beast. And you see the advantage of this uh, synchronous workflows that it's pretty much real time and it refreshes. I didn't press anything. I run it again. Here's my hands. Boom. See? Nothing. Magic. It just magic refreshes. So that's why we like classic because it works and it's beautiful. Now what we can do is to call Maurice. Maurice. Maurice, Maurice, Maurice. Maurice, Maurice, Maurice. First time we run, it says, hey, look, I'm just going to poke around here if you don't mind. You say, yeah, it's okay, go ahead. Run it, start it. Well, flow is, uh, cloud flow is asynchronous. So we started it, but we have no idea what happened. The only thing we can do is press refresh, go. Hello there. Right, so now what we can do is go and check our Maurice. Maurice did the work. Here's our Maurice. Come back, Maurice. And we go there and the run should be right here. Oh, hello there. Hello, here's your run, bound action, and it's all worked. This is cool. Do you know what I don't like though? American date format. There's two things. So the extension of my problem is I need to do some stuff in the flow, make the beast run and then i need to do stuff after the flow because that beast also creates a contact which is really helpful and i need it for the next stage of my flow but i don't know if it's going to wait for it or if it's going to run away and try and find something that doesn't exist i'll show you one better but that's for the next time that's for next time okay it's been great thank you very much always a pleasure until next time Il mio cor. Don't forget ta 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 ta. I get nervous. I get nervous. Please, let's come back.